guiding you across the sky, right in the Milky Way. You'll stop a while to play. Meet my little one. Ah, oh, darling, there you are. The little fellow was crying when I got home. Got to leave him alone sometime. Remember, we have no staff of servants in this house. Ah, uh, but we will have. I've just signed my engagement with the Benny Knee Opera Company. Oh, you have? Yeah, I begin as understudy, understudy. and then... If... Isn't that just wonderful? I've just been waiting to hear that. And how long is the engagement this time? Six months, and if... Six months as an understudy, Cal. Six months more of this. Cheap lodging, drinking goat's milk and eating spaghetti. You never seem to consider me or the kind of life I'm living, but I'm in a strange country where I can't speak the language. I can't make friends. Oh, I know it's been hard, Alice. You've been a real sport. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. Rosa Donnelly's in the company. Just think what it means to sing with her. I am thinking. What do you mean? You think I'm a fool? She asked for you, didn't she? Why, yes, of course. But for her, I'm just a boy, something that sings. You can't make me believe you're jealous of her. You know there's nothing in the world means anything to me but you and Bill. I've heard that ever since we've been with you. Well, you can stay here and make the most of this great opportunity. I'm going back to America. Well, now you're talking like a silly child. Come on now, come on. I've got to get back to rehearsal. I just stopped in to tell you the good news. There, that's better. Tonight we'll celebrate. We'll go out for dinner. And we won't have spaghetti. One thing to do with you boys. Take you all to see the show. <laughs> Remember, all the regular work must be done first.
Bill. There goes your show. I'm sorry, boys, but the money for your ticket will have to be used to replace those dishes. Trophies for farmers. Gee whiz. Hammer, that means he sings. I like to sing the trained dog. Me too, but I don't see what you see in singing. I like singing. He likes it. Yeah, well, you might as well forget it, because you're not going to hear none. Eighteen, please. What I tell you, Mr. Carter. We're going to have a bigger house than mine. You'd have had a bigger house than that if it hadn't been for some broken dishes. Right, boys? Yeah! You better go backstage, Pasquale, so as to get started in time. Okay, Mr. Cutter, we'll give him a good show. <laughs> Well, you got a ticket? No, sir. All right, no ticket, no show. But listen, mister, I hadn't got any money to buy a ticket. And what do you want me to do about it? I just thought maybe you could fix it. Sure would like to hear that fella sing. What fella? You know, uh... Yeah. Senor Joseph Pasquale. I said he's great. Well, that's a different. Why you know such so before? Come on. <laughs> yeah. So, from this place you see everything. Hey, Pasquale. Great little stage manager you are. My trapeze wasn't set up again. All right, all right. I'll fix it right away. Ah, never mind. I've already done it myself. That's the flying man on the trapeze. Senor Joseph Pasquale? Sure, that's me. All right, Mind on what you're doing? Watch the rest of the show. I'll be back later, huh? <laughs>
the next act? The next act? What will I do with it? You know. Yeah, for the next act. For the next act. Oh, boy, and I used to be semi-pro ball once. Are you going to sing now? Me? Sure, I sing. What do you sing? You don't like my song, eh? Huh? Oh, I guess it was all right. You don't understand. The people like to laugh. Me? I make everybody laugh. Just the same. I'd like to get a hold of that kid who threw that tomato. So would I. <laughs> well, you see me here with the show next to see you? I sure will. Thanks a lot for letting me. You run along now. Me, I got a lot of work. Who put that there? You're not from a kid, huh? And you sneak out to, to see the show. Yes, you see, I'm in the doghouse. Well, you sneak right back to the doghouse. I was thinking, what I mean is, could I get a job with the show? What you talk? Could get a job with the show? Are you crazy? No, sir. Then you go right home to the orphan. But I decided I'm through with it. What you mean? You graduated? No, I quit. Well, you quit to ride back. Go on, go on, go on.
Ah, what you doing with that? Didn't I send you home? I didn't go. Now watch your talk. You want to get to me in trouble? You know how far it is to my bulletin? No, sir. Well, you go back. How will I get there? How you get there? Well, you get here. I'm with you. Well, you go back alone. Come on. Get the hitchhike. Scoot. Wait a minute. Are you hungry? Oh, no, sir. You mean after you've been hiding in that basket all night, you could eat some ham and eggs? Well... Nice to take over a hot cake with syrup? Yes, sir. And you're not hungry, huh? Come on. Hey, Cookie. Fix this bambino up with some bracket. Give him everything. He's not hungry. Sure, anything for a friend of yours, Joe. Then you see, he goes home. Best of time, you know how it. You understand English? Yes, sir. First of all, son of a bull. That voice. I don't know. I always had it. But a little fellow like you and singing like that. <laughs> oh. Who told you to do that? Nobody. Well, why you not get to breakfast first and go home like I told you? I wanted to stay and help you. Now you take these things back where you found them and then go home. You gotta put a good voice, but you gotta put a bigger nerve, too. Come on. Why they put you in that orphan place? They took me there when my mother died. Oh, poor Bambi. Well, where you get that voice? Did your mama sing? No. Your papa, maybe? I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? I don't remember my father. But I know a song he wrote. My mother taught it to me. Maybe he could sing. Yes, but maybe you have some aunts, or uncles, cousins. Or... No. What? No relation? That's a fine. You stay that way. You never have no relation. Well, what's your name anyway? Billy Good. Huh? Could I stay with you? 
Well, what's the matter with you? Why you want to stay with me? I don't want to be an orphan all my life. <laughs> I don't blame you, but uh, why you pick on me? I sort of like it. Oh, you don't like it the way I sing. Well... Ah, so you had the mint, huh? Just for that, I'm going to show you something. You finish any, oh, come on. You know, I know what a singer likes now. I show you where you make a bigger mistake. There. Why, that's you. You betcha that's me. Il Trovatore. Pagliacci. You know, I was a pretty big fellow before I lose my voice. What happened? Oh, that's a big, long story. One day, the voice, she was magnificent. And the next day, she no good. La graviata. Is that your wife? No, she's not my wife. She's the great Rosa Donnelli. She's a great singer today. And me, I give her first a bigger chance. She was a little kid then. And she used to say, Joe, you teach me to sing like you? Did you teach her? Sure, and she learned quick, too. I wonder what she'd think I would Joe Pasquale if she would see him today. Certo che non invito a te a sentire. Sì, I think that's beautiful. I wish I could sing like that. Well, maybe you could. How would you like me to teach you, huh? You mean it? Well, how do I do that? No, that's no good. You forget you gotta go home. I tell you what I do for you. Would you like to see the show again tonight? Sure. All right, I think you stay as my guest and friend. But tonight after the show, you gotta go home immediately. Looking for something? Yes, uh, you're with the show, aren't you? You bet. We have a wire from the Naples Orphanage asking us to look up a runaway kid. That high little boy, brown eyes and curly hair? Yes, have you seen him? Sure, I see him. Well, where is he? How I know. I saw a little boy like that in Maplet, son. He come to show, but I send him home. But if you run across him, let us know, will you? You bet. We don't want no runaway kids around the show. In the right of the apple? Yeah, kids are a new. That will cause you a lot of trouble. Hey, Joe? He's gone, isn't he? What I do with you? If they catch you now, then old Joe tell a lie, and maybe they put me in jail. I'll go back. How you go? You can do that in the dark. Maybe I better call the policeman in the back. I'll tell you what I do. Let's see. Um, maybe I'd like to hear you sing one more time. You come along to the next time. Then tomorrow morning, I figure out a good way to send you back ashore.
one thing you remember, no matter what you sing, sing all the way so from Mother Heart. But I thought you were just teaching me head tones. Head tones, chest tones, they're all good, but no tones is like the high tones. Ready? One, two. Without a song to sing, what is there to cling to? Say, that kid sure has a swell voice. Hey, that kid can sing at that. with the arithmetic. Well, Joe, the answers are all right. Well, how do you know it? I looked in the back of the book. Ah! Now make him so make a sample, and now look in back of the book. Now we'll never know the answer. had our best operatives on this case again. But unfortunately, I can't tell you any more than I could two years ago. It doesn't mean possible. I know just how you feel, Mr. Alba. But your case is one of thousands. If we only knew whether your wife changed her name, this often occurs. But she must have. Tell me, isn't there anything more that I can do? I think not, Mr. Alba. I assure you, we're doing everything we can. The moment anything turns up, we'll let you know. Well, thank you again for all your kindness. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> what are you laughing at? No, it's just the thing. So many times I say I sent you back, and you're still here. You aren't ever going to send me back now, are you, Joe? Well, me, I guess that they don't care in that orphan place. Because are you just one more kid and they don't have to look out for, huh? I guess so. All right, you go to sleep, huh? Good night, Joe. Good night, kid. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you go to sleep? Me? I, I just think. What are you thinking about? You know, Billy, I think this is show business is no good for you. What do you mean? Well, this kind of life is no good for a little fella like you. But, Joe... Never mind, we'll talk about some other time. All right. You do something for me? Sing in that little go-to-sleep song. Maybe I stop thinking and I go to sleep, eh? Okay. Sleep, my little one, sleep, my pretty one, for the sun has gone to rise. Will you listen to that kid sing? Yeah, Joe's been doing pretty good with him. I've got kind of an idea. And that kid could fit right into my plan. What plan, Jim? He doesn't belong to Joe, does he? What rights Pasquale got hauling him all over the country? A kid with a voice like that ought to be with somebody that can give him a chance. Hmm. And I suppose you're just the guy. Sure. That ought to make a pretty good act, Marge. Me and that kid and you. And what do you have to do to adopt a kid? Yeah. 
turn that contract lay on and everything is settled. And if I do say it myself, you're very fortunate. What? Getting $500 a concert more than you expected and playing every big city in the country. Thanks to you, my friend. I suppose I should feel elated. I'm not. Still no news. How two people could disappear so completely from the face of the earth? That I'll never understand. When you're on this concert, though, your name will be published everywhere. Your wife is bound to hear of you. And if she's had a change of heart, she'll come back to you. I wish I could believe that. Miss Donnelly, Mr. Jackson. Oh, have her come in. Rosa Donnelly? Yes. Opera singer. You should know, Rosa. Do they still remember me in your They never forget their favorites. Well, you haven't done so badly for yourself. What are you playing? Jackson's arranging a concert to report. But about you, Rosa. Married yet? Mm. To my career. And believe me, my friend, it's more demanding than a husband. <laughs> never mind me. How long have you been in New York? Three or four days. Three or four days and you haven't looked me up. Well, as a matter of fact, Rosa, I thought I'd located Alice Billy. I think that what would have brought happiness to all of you would have been the cause of your separation. Billy, You know, Billy, I've been thinking. I got a big idea. As soon as the show business gets good, and Mr. Carter pays me back the money, I take you away. Maybe we go to New York. Gee, I'd like to see New York. Hey, I get you a nicer place to live. I teach you some more. I make lots of money by teaching other people to sing. I'll even send you to nicer school. You sure are good to me, Joe. You're good to me, too. You make me feel like you're the old job. Full of ambition! Andiamo! Even the birds will fly away when I sing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Ever since we started on tour, you've been passing out nickels and dimes. Now, you promised me my dough today. And if you don't shell out what you owe me now, there'll be no show tonight. Oh, why can't you be sensible, Diablo? Everybody else is willing to wait, aren't you, folks? No, they're not. We're all leaving. What do you mean, a way? What you people are gonna do if you quit? Are you gonna get your back a pay? Me, I need the back a pay very much. We all in the same boat. And you rock it. Mr. Carter is a fine fella. He pay us for his own. He gives us a nicer food. We got a fine cook. Food's okay. As far as I'm concerned, I don't want to get out. I think Joe's right. Now listen, if the Star Act blows this show, the whole outfit's gonna fold up. What do you mean? We got a seven act just as good. What you do? You take up the 15 minutes, huh? All right, we take up the 15 minutes. So what? You know what I'm gonna do? No. You wait and see, I'm gonna do it. Come on, boys, let's get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Carter, you know that. Mr. Carter give you the back of money, sure. What's the idea of the grandstand place? I mean it, we're through. Yeah? Then answer this one. How are we going to eat? There's our meal ticket from now on.
I come in? No, sir. This is for good luck. Oh, thank you so much. You have a wonderful audience, and I know you're going to please. Well, I hope so, but I can't help feeling a little nervous. Oh. I have a very many people out for front, so you no need to have a statue of pride. All right, Joe, but you sort of stand me. Now, sure, sure. What do you think? I'll be standing right where you can see me. I'll be watching you all the time. I'm not coming dead. And remember, sing like Joe West told you. On the heart. Waiting for someone? What do you care? You're on in five minutes, Billy. Gee, I'm scared. Don't be scared. Be calm. Happy brother, but one day let me peacefully slumber. I live for the forest until the and the tramping of paying horses. Then all and my grave will my emperor ride, while softly, brightly, and rattled, while softly, brightly, and rattled. Then on to the teeth will I rise from my grave, for my emperor. Mr. Perkins? Yes? I'm Jim Wilkins. I've been expecting you. How do you do? This is Mr. O'Malley. Don't you hear that call you? They want some more.
come up for Billy? Well, not exactly. Here is a ring to adopt the boy Nico. Come here. Come here. Billy. You know, Billy, if we keep on going the way we uh, maybe in about two, two three days, uh, we'll be in New York. Wait, you see the bigger building in the subway in the Brooklyn Bridge. Even when you see it, you won't believe it. Really quick. Cup of coffee for myself. Coming to you through the Standard Network, New York. Our guest artist for today was the world famous prima donna, Miss Rosa Donnelly. Donnelly! Do you know who that is? 
You talk to water my wife. That's the bambine I talk to sing. And the man in the red, he says she's in New York. That's the people you should know. That's the way you belong. I wonder what she think of a job of that. I don't feel sorry, Joe. Buster. Huh? You always get this man. Must have got on the trail of that kid and that Italian crook. I am a bigger, stronger man. I've used all kinds of world. You little bambino. Crazy man. He wants to make him believe I. I feel fine. A hundred and forty. Hmm? I must have been getting much better. Just the same yet. taking care of you. Why you make of a face, you know? Good, my lad. You feel much better now, Joe? Oh, my. You know, Billy Boy, it's too bad. Not in the lurch. You should put a nicer fella. To my lad, I say, gonna send all my things. But you know one thing I can understand. My friend, the rose are not come. Did the men of the radio station forget to give her the mess? Well, I don't know. Maybe he couldn't read my writing. I don't understand. That must be her now. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Good morning, little man. How's the patient today? Oh, better, Doctor. Uh -huh. His temperature is only 140. He really is a very sick man. He needs more attention than I can give him here. Right. He should be sent to the hospital. Mm. Hospital? Don't worry. We take good care of him there.
going down. Well, what can I do for you, young man? Have you an appointment? No, but Joe has. Well, where's Joe? Oh, he's sick. Oh, that's too bad. Just a minute. Mr. Nelly will be here at 4.30 for a rehearsal. Is it all right if I wait? Oh, surely. Where do you think you're going? I want to see Rosa to know. Got a card? No. Can't go in there, son. The door's locked from the inside. I'm going to take you to my house, and we'll take care of him together. Thank you, miss. Why, Mr. Pasquale left here two weeks ago. You know where he went? I've got something for him. Yeah. He's stopping at the home of Rosa Donnelly. Rosa Donnelly? Is the kid with him? I guess so. They left together. All right. Let's go to Donnelly's house. Yeah. Thanks very much. It looks like the party is going to be a great success. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm so glad you well, could Well, Leon! Well, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Chicago. You're singing tomorrow night. Oh, you forget they have airplanes these days. I just came in to be with Rose. How do I look? Well. well come on, come on. Why can't I go down and hear the music, Joe? I told you before, this is a not for little boy. Not for grown-up people. Now, come on and go to sleep. But I'm sure there's going to be singing and ice cream. I tell you what I do for you. I compromise. Maybe for a little while, I'll leave the door open so you can hear the music. But don't you get off out of bed, huh? Well, all right, Joe. I will. Good night, Abundia. Good night, Joe. I'm so glad you could come, Leon. After having been away for weeks, I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> oh, Joe. Mr. Aldo, Senor Joseph Pasquale. It's a privilege. I've heard about you, Senor Pasquale. I'm glad to know you. It's a privilege to know you, too, Mr. Alba. <laughs> it is a privilege. <laughs> Hey, 
papers that freedom is at stake. And all the farmer has to do is sit and belly ache. Well, you've all been having your way. Now it's time that I must say and must say. I'm coming out of my shell. I'm the farmer in the dell. I've got 70 acres with the mortgage fall in view. But I'm doing the work. I never shirk a feeding you. With sun and rain on the earth, the right of all men given to him by birth. I'll feed you, I'm here to tell. I'm the farmer in the dell. The farm, how it needs you. You left it, but the farm still feeds you. You borrow in millions. Your children will pay in billions. You're all holding powwows. Things are going to the powwows. It's time to come back to the farm. They say, off in the city, smokes are starving in the street. Then you say I'm forbid from raising things for folks to eat. I've got a farm and a plow, and nobody's going to stop me now. I'll plow in spite of all. I hold the dairy oh, I hold the dairy oh, I hold the dairy oh. I'm the farmer in the. care to hear another song, I should like to ask the privilege of singing a very simple little melody. It's just a lullaby, but one that's very dear to me. You didn't think you'd get away with this, did you, Joe? Oh, you know I was... That's all right. Where's Billy? I know you've got him here, and you know he belongs to me, because I told you so. I don't know what you're talking about. Keep my little one, keep my pretty one, for the sun has gone. Sun will rise, you will rub your eyes like a bird will leave Wait a minute, I'll be right back, huh? You better go around and charge her back. I'm sure he doesn't get away. Right. Billy! 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 What's the matter, Joe?
Where did you learn that song? My mother taught it to me. Where was your mother? She was dead. Who this is? Why, that's her. And you. That's right. And that lullaby you sang. I wrote it for a little boy when he was just a tiny baby. You're that little boy. I'm your. Yes. I'm your father. Pleased to meet you. What is all this, a gag? I'd just like to speak to you for just one minute, my friend. What? You know, Diablo, I always liked you. And I don't care what anybody say, I think you're nice about it. Yeah? I know you feel a bit about the kid's father showing up, but, but you get over all right. I am sure. That's so. Now, my friend, I'd like you to do me just one little favor. Get out and stay out. 